Welcome back, I'm Wet Hamster, and as you can see, Boxer Brown is sporting her fro again. There's a very special reason for that. If you do recall from the previous video, I was talking about showing off my special item that I wanted to make. So let's go check and see what that is. It is a head slot item. Earrings. Basically, earrings have no model, therefore you can... Uh, keep your face and hairdo as aesthetics. It does give some defense, and it generally earrings are more of a skill plus item. Let's see if I can't stop fumbling around and uh, show off what the skill plus is for it. Well, as you can see, we've got a new skill. It is Auto Guard. Plus, this earring gives plus 10 to Auto Guard, which is enough to well, let us automatically guard from any attack as long as we're not busy doing any other attack and we have our weapon, you know, up front. And, of course, we have a shield. Like I said, it is a bit of a noobish item to have. It doesn't give as much protection. It doesn't give the right stats. But, uh, well, I've also been doing some customization. I have been adding a ton of attack up gems to my gear, so I actually get the attack boost but I kind of had to trade out the plus 20 health, which is neglo negligible blah, blah. <laughs> at this point. Um, I can pretty much get the boost from food if I want it. Oh, and that is one thing I actually forgot to mention. You can combine items in your item box. Yes. And he wants crickets, so, uh, but we have plenty of crickets, so you know what? We will fulfill his request. Crickets given. And he gives me a armor seed, which is actually pretty damn decent. Well, I mean, we can grow tons of these, but armor seeds allows us to make armor drugs, which increases our armor as a consumable item, or we just eat the seed for a small boost. Crazy cat leader he wants to talk to us, though. Casey, <laughs> I can talk. Um, no, I can't. She wants to mention that we can now hire two feline chefs because we have done all of the one-star missions. Problem is, we got a barrel cat. So uh, let's go see if Trenya's back. Trenya should would never, you know, screw us over. Oh, it it seems like uh, this was a bad idea. Whenever I get my hands on that mangy cat, Trenya's dead. Dead, you hear me? Dead! Uh, that's what I thought, he'd run off with her stuff. But, yeah, for a while, I will be using the lovely afro do, or rather the earrings. Just, you know, for the aesthetics. I will not be using them, you know, throughout the entire game. There will be better earrings if, uh, if they help my setup. But since we're going to the desert, I decided to quickly buy a couple of cool drinks and bring them along with me. As you can imagine, the desert is hot, and for that, you'd need cool drinks. Oh, I was just making sure. Um, or rather there, I was kind of like, uh, yeah. I was not sure I picked up the right one, so I dropped it and uh, decided to take a look at the flavor text for them. They basically more or less say the same thing and only replace the area out with the area that you're going into. Or something like that. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the desert! And there's our uh, air balloon, so let's see the glinting up close when we wave at it, just just for the heck of it. And just to say hi. Boxy's friendly like that, she she likes her photographs taken. See the flash effect a little bit better here. And it is a pretty good spot, and pretty noticeable if the air balloon is here, so if you're doing a mission to you know, hunt larger prey... <laughs> It's pretty handy if he's right there, because you'll notice him right away, and you can see exactly where the monster is. At least for a moment. And, um... Yeah, it's, it's a desert. 
area 2, 1, and 5 are areas where it can either be blazing hot or freezing cold. I did forget to show off one area, or one secret little shortcut, but I'll be showing off later. Now, what does the warm weather do, you might ask? If you keep an eye on my health bar, it is glowing blue occasionally. And I am constantly, while I'm in a hot area, I will be losing health. If my health bar reaches zero, of course, I'll be knocked out. So it is the worst of the weather status effects, so you'll want to bring cool drinks. But luckily it is only like, I guess you, if you want to call it that, uh, a sort of subdual damage. So it'll, the bar will go red, and if you can rest somewhere long enough, you'll get your bar back as long as you don't get hit by something. Like a cat. Or these strange sandfish. Unfortunately, I can't really get a very good look at them in this, uh, in this video, mainly because you need sonic bombs to lure them out. They are called cephalos. And, uh, coming up here is a rocky area. It is neither warm or cold, so, uh, you're pretty safe here, as far as weather effects go. Now, I at night time, the desert will be freezing cold, so you will want warm drinks with you. There is, though, an area, area 6, I believe, that is always cold, no matter what, but we'll get to that. Just, uh, taking a look around here. A nice little area. There's some gathering spots here and there. There's a mining spot and yeah, random stuff. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, there's like an area that gives kutku skills, I know. And uh, we've got a nice big open wide area, area seven, with a little oasis in it and a new type of herbivore. Apsaros, or Apkaros, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. These guys are enormous, huge dicks. Decently tough. Actually, pretty tough, consider. And do a decent amount of damage, too. Uh, mainly, the annoying part is their speed and their, and their size while you're fighting a large monster in areas like this. They will swing their tail, and they will knock you around and generally just be a pest. So... <laughs> they will get in the way. I believe these have a low chance of giving medium bones, but you can't get medium bones if you want medium bones early in the game. And uh, I'm constantly trying to harvest to see if I can get one of these medium bones, but the game just won't let you. But generally they'll just give you raw meat or small bones, for the most part. I'm just kicking kitty out of principle. Oh, damn cat. Ah, oh, damn tail. Again, they're still kind of weak, but they're really annoying when you're in a proper large fight and these guys just show up and they knock you around and then because you're knocked on your ass, then... <laughs> Oh, uh, then you get shaken by the large monster. It's just, oh, all in all, it's just not fun. <laughs> and these guys, they can take quite a few hits before they go down, which is really annoying. 